I don't know how well the camera may or may not pick this up, but um, while I've got a few jobs here that have ground to a halt while I wait for my uh, rebore guy to rebore a cylinder, and he's also got to change a valve seat in a cylinder head for another project, and a third project I've got on the go and waiting for the frame to come back from the painters, so it's all sort of gone a bit quiet here unfortunately. I thought I'd take a look at this, which is one thing I've noticed on the clutch of Asbo number 50. Let me say whether the camera will pick it up well or not, I don't know. But when I operate the clutch, you can see that one part of the clutch pressure plate, this here, is lifting, as you'd expect it should. Well, down here, is barely moving at all. In fact, well, it's pretty much staying put. And yet, all the clutch pressure plate springs are supposedly, well, we've got three light and three stronger ones in there. They were in there when uh, this bike came to me. We've got three with yellow paint on them, equally spaced. There's not much yellow paint left on that one, but there is some. So we've got one, two, three yellow, one, two, three, plain. So they're supposedly all sort of distributed evenly, but we've got this uneven lift of the clutch pressure plate, which is uh, obviously going to cause drag. So I'm going to try and deal with that and see if I can make any improvement on it. And uh, if we've got anything interesting to share, we'll uh, film it and I'll explain what I've done. But hopefully I'll end up showing another part of this clip where hopefully the pressure plate will lift evenly and that will uh, mean less clutch drag. I've got that clutch pressure plate from uh, the Royal Enfield Bullet Asbo number 50 in the lathe now and uh, I've actually done the machining work. I'm hoping that I'll be able to show this clearly but right in the centre the part where the uh, clutch push rod end pushes against the underside of the pressure plate was actually a little bit on the skew compared to the face, the friction face of the pressure plate. So I found this out, I removed all the clutch springs and put the pressure plate back on the clutch and just held, pressed the centre of the uh, pressure plate hard with my thumb and operated the clutch lever and the pressure plate was still lifting unevenly because the face in there that the push rod pushes against was uneven compared to the uh, friction face. So I've had the uh, pressure plate in the lathe and I've clocked the face, the working face of the pressure plate to make sure that that was spinning true and uh, sure enough the cutting tip of my uh, tool there in the lathe was actually sort of removed material and it was taking a high spot away that was in there and now I've hopefully got it machined so that it's flat and even and I'm going to try the pressure plate again by hand using thumb pressure and see if it lifts any more evenly than it was. Hopefully that may be, if not the entire key to the problem, a major contributory factor but I'll soon find out. Right, here I am back with the uh, clutch pressure plate refitted to the clutch after its little spell in the lathe and I think I've actually made a bit of an improvement. I'll operate the clutch now by the uh, lever there and hopefully you might see pressure plate lift and drop back in and it's uh, moving pretty evenly now and uniformly as the actuating mechanism lifts the pressure plate and releases it back rather than it lifting one side and the other side staying down and lopsided. I'll also, I've got it in gear, I'll just pull the clutch in and spin the rear wheel with it in top gear and we should be able to see the pressure plate there as it spins round it's not sort of wobbling from side to side, it's spinning nice and evenly and flat and flush so hopefully that will maximize the clutch's grip 
and minimise the slip and any drag that there might be. I'm quite happy with that, so uh, I'll keep that together like that now until I've got my reboard cylinder and piston back to build up the top end of ASBO number 50 and then we'll try it out on the road but um, I'm pretty happy with that. That's a lot better than it was.